176 teams have started 0-3 since 1981. Six have made the playoffs, including the Texans just last year. Mason Rudolph will make his first NFL start tomorrow, and all he has to do is win in a place the Steelers haven't since 1999, with basically the entire season on the line. So you're saying there's a chance since 1981, 176 teams have started their season 0-3 and, and only six have reached the playoffs. Unfortunately, that's where we find the Steelers. Hello and welcome to the FanDuel Sportsbook Jerome Betta Show alongside the Pro Football Hall of Famer. I'm Chase Williams and Jerome, I don't think any of us thought we'd be here, especially with a team with so much talent as the Steelers do. It's an Andy Dalton, a guy who's lost six straight. The team have lost eight straight versus the Steelers. However, Marvin Lewis is gone. In comes Zach Taylor, 35 years old. I'm actually older than him. That's insane. He's an offensive guru. A lot of the San Francisco media members I was talking to, there's not a lot of belief in Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah. Everything around him, but not him just yet. All right, we've got plenty more to come on the FanDuel Sportsbook Jerome Betta Show as we take a look at the upcoming Hall of Honor class, plus your questions and the power rankings. It's all next on the FanDuel Sportsbook, Jerome Betta Show. A tremendous honor nonetheless. I was about to say, do you think that helps them get into the Pro Football Hall of Fame when their organization honors them in this 100%. way? 100%. A big change for the Cowboys this season, the addition of Kellen Moore as the mm -hmm. new offensive coordinator, yep. really scheming that offense and putting Dak mm -hmm. in advantageous situations. All right, yep. number three. As we know, the offense belongs to Mason Rudolph for the remainder of the season, and just a couple days ago, he said he feels more at ease in his second full week of being the guy. And you know what? When he starts here tonight, it'll be the first time the Bengals face a Steelers quarterback not named Ben Roethlisberger since 2003. Juju Smith-Schuster first hurt his toe against the New England Patriots way back in week one and has since re-aggravated that injury. Today was the first time he's practiced all week. I think we've reached a point where, much like the Steelers heading into their season, the Penguins are no longer the favorites, and that'll happen when you get swept out of the playoffs. You trade away a guy as talented as Phil Kessel, and your other stars are aging and on the wrong side of 30. So, to me, as they open here tonight, the question should be, are they still Stanley Cup contenders, or will they continue to fade like they've shown over the last couple seasons? In theory, you don't get better by trading away talent, but I found it very interesting when Mike's Sullivan told me he thinks sometimes it's harder to handle success than failure, insinuating some of his players got complacent after winning back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. He didn't mention Phil Kessel by name, but he said when it came to that trade, it was very calculated. They wanted to get younger, hungrier players to surround Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin, who, according to the Pens, still have plenty in the tank. For the first time in franchise history, the Ravens' defense have given up more than 500 yards in back-to-back -back games. So, how will the Steelers deploy young Mason Rudolph? His numbers aren't bad through three games, but we know the story there. He's not going downfield with enough consistency. On the other side, Lamar Jackson is leading the NFL's top-ranked offense, scoring nearly 34 points per game. But he's not doing it with just his legs. He's letting it fly. Desperate times call for desperate measures as the Steelers break out the Wildcat to help pick up their first win of the season. With that, welcome to the FanDuel Sportsbook Jerome Betta Show. I'm Chase Williams with the Pro Football Hall of Famer. Uh, Jerome, you have to credit the coaching staff to getting outside of their own comfort zone just to get a win. And they've won every game with Teddy Bridgewater since he's taken over. That's impressive in its own right. I would have not thought that at all. I thought every guy. All right, we'll see if the Steelers can improve to two and three on the season when they take on those hated Baltimore. Ravens at Heinz Field on Sunday. For Jerome Bettis, I'm Chase Williams. Thanks for joining us on the Vitalit Overtime with the Bus. His 24 completions averaged 3.5 air yards. That's the lowest for a Steelers quarterback since 2006. At some point, he has to incorporate it is the nature of the business, but the Steelers continue to be hit with an injury bug as now Juju Smith-Schuster is questionable for a must-win AFC North game on Sunday against the Ravens. Penguins had almost six months to show they're not the team swept out of the first round of the playoffs. They've talked a good game since, but they certainly didn't play one last night. And with that, changes are already being made. 